Hey everyone, we're the Wandering Food Dudes and I'm Fish. I'm Poetic and today we are at Soul Hot Dog. Gonna try some... Uh, in Federal Way. In Federal Way. We're actually right next to a pet clinic. Um, it's right next to it, so if you can't find it, you'll, this is how you'll know. And we're also next to a Hot Pot World Rotary. You see this and then this right next to it is there. We're gonna go on inside show you what it is. So what exactly is the specialty that we're going to be eating today? So Korean hot dogs are a bit special. They're double breaded typically. Uh, and they also add some additional things like usually like potato uh, french fries on the outside. Um, maybe a sprinkling of sugar depending on the, the brand. Uh, they're kind of near and dear to my heart since I spent a year in Korea. And they're delicious. And they're, de de they're delicious and you can delicious. find them just about everywhere in Korea, especially at the rest stops which uh, are little miniature shopping centers in and of themselves. So let's go on inside. Let's go on inside and take a look. Check this out. So here's the location. Excuse me. So we're gonna show you the different things they have here. So what are we getting here? So um, they can come with or without potatoes, uh, the, the french fries that I was talking about. Uh, we're gonna get a all beef one. You can get it either all beef or spicy, or you, uh, the mixture hot dogs, which chicken, uh, beef, pork mixture. Or you can get the mozzarella dog with or without the potatoes. Or you can even get a half and half. And this one's rice cake mixed with the, uh, covered with potatoes. And here's the location right here. So this one has quite a bit of everything, honestly. Uh, there's nice seating there, simple. You have the sodas right there on the side. A huge menu right there if you don't want to look at the other menu right there. And then, of course, they have sauces here ketchup, mustard, honey mustard, sweet chili ranch, ah, hot sauce, which is creamy. And a bunch of things. And of course, they do have ice cream here, which is kind of cool. That's yeah. actually kind of dope. And then the pockies, brindles, and then that's where they make all this stuff. Check this out. We're going to show you this because that's actually kind of dope. But we're going to order the first. Let's go okay. ahead and order. Hello. Yeah, can I get a um, all beef sole sausage potato hot dog? Uh, with sugar? Yeah. And then a number two? And then a spicy number five? Spicy number five, and these two also with sugar? No sugar on that one. Okay. No, you should. With, with sugar? Yeah, do it with. Do with, it with sugar, my bad. For all three? Yes, please. And then can we get some of the rice cake skewers, please? Just one. Okay, can we get the cheddar sauce? Sweet chili. The sweet chili. And then the ketchup? Can you ketchup or maybe the... Let's go with your, your specialty barbecue. Uh -huh. Yeah, that sounds great. Thank you very much. Oh, well. Sweet. Okay, so thank now you. they gave us they gave us a little buzzer there, which yeah. is pretty dope. So basically they make sure that you know as soon as your order is ready, it'll just buzz up for you. We're gonna show you here. Check this out. This is kind of dope. Let's see where they so this is where they the make orders. everything. That's kind of awesome. How are you? Good, how are you? And you're? AJ. AJ, correct. So what are you doing? What is that? I'm making a hot dog. Original. Is that like a dough? It's a kind of a dough, but it's a little different. And yeah. I'm going to start cooking dough, so we kind of roll it. Nice. That looks awesome. <laughs> I love how they do that. And that's Putting the potatoes, all the potatoes right there. on there. That is, that is crazy awesome. Then you see the deep fryer. So that deep fryer, they put the corn dogs in, or the hot dogs, excuse me? Yeah. The hot dogs in, and it has like a little pull. Yeah. And you just stick it, it just stays upside down. So that's really dope. And there's the mozzarella there, again, dipped into the batter. That's crazy. And more french fries. It's crazy how, how like, it actually really, really sticks to it. Yeah, yeah. Well, it, like, so look well how fast too. it is. It's a, such a fast process just to make it all the way from scratch. And it looks like it's about six minutes uh, deep frying. So again, that's not too too slow either. Yeah, that's really quick, honestly. For something fried, that's actually really pretty dope. Yeah. But we're gonna go ahead and get ready for our order and we'll be back 
right after these cooking frying messages, y'all, because, you know, we're ready for it. Okay, so we're back now. We're going to go ahead and try the different ones we have. So first, we're going to show you guys. Actually, you know, I'm just going to lift this real quick for two seconds so I can show you guys. So we have the spicy dog. So if you look here, it actually shows it on the stick. It'll say spicy, whatever. Well, just whatever in case you, you ever forget exactly yeah. what you ordered, it is all labeled. So this, so this is, is the what? all beef uh, all with beef. potato. With and that. again, we ordered it with the sugar on there. This one's a little hard to see this one, but this one has the cheese, so the mozzarella stick. Get with the uh, potato and the sugar. And here's the lovely uh, rice bucky. cakes. Yeah. And then uh, these are the different sauces that they have Sweet here. Chili, Sweet chili, cheese, and the Korean barbecue sauce. And the last two, I believe they make themselves. Yes, yeah, so she did say that she, they make those in-house. Uh, same thing with the batter and everything else here. So everything is done freshly the way it needs to be. So now we're going to go ahead and try a few. But before we do, that's good. We're going to lift it up. So we're going to try a few of these. So we're going to start with the whew, with the spicy, spicy first. Dog. So we're going to go ahead and, and that cut one, this. since it doesn't have the potato, it's been coated in panko on top of the, uh, the normal dough. And you can get these with and without sugar. We just decided to have a bit of sweet tooth to go along with our meal. With our, yeah, with, the, <laughs> with our hot dogs here. So, they're not just hot dogs. There special Feel free and grab. Okay. And then we're going to show you guys what it looks like on the inside as well. Wow. And these sticks that they have, they especially make them themselves because it's easier to, you know, be able to tell on the bottom. So here it is. That's the inside of it. Nice batter. When we saw them make it, they roll it in, as you guys saw. And here's, you know, the deliciousness. So we're going to go ahead and try out the pretty, spicy one. Pretty thick. That's what, a quarter of a quarter of an inch? Yeah. That's, they're, they're huge. Look at that. They're huge hot dogs. Oh, I took a bite of just the batter. And, um, mm. the sugar gives a little bit of a sweetness to it, kind of like um, a donut. Mm. Cold, but it's very nice, crisp outside. So definitely, I like the sugar on it. The sugar adds a little bit of sweetness to it. To combat the little bit of spiciness, that it's actually spicier than I thought it was. <laughs> I wonder if each one has a different, not horrible though. If you like spice, you'll definitely like this one. No, so it has the sugar. The batter is nice. The batter is pretty nice and crisp. Yeah. And they, they, when they put it in, they put it upside down. So it's like, they put it in like this. And they, this part right here has this like little like gripper. Yeah. And it just keeps it in there. Um, so it's definitely nice. It has a little bit of spice to it. Um, that's without the sauce. It's juicy. I, I like that. Yeah. The, the, the hot dog is, or, you know, sausage is very juicy. And the spice juicy. isn't too bad even for someone like me who's not a big fan of the there spice. There you go. Now y'all like, it, it is noticeable and does yeah. linger, but it's not... Nothing like horrible? Not horrible, no. So that's good. That's good right there, as you guys can see. So now we're going to try the different sauces here. So, so I'm going to try it with the barbecue sauce so here. So here's their, in case you guys don't see it. Yeah. That's their homemade one? Homemade, uh, homemade. yeah. They make that in-house. I, I can't pre pronounce how it actually is oh, said. <laughs> As so he's going to try it first. He's going to go ahead and try this. So off. actually, I'm going to try a little bit on my finger so I can isolate the flavor. True, true, true. Actually, I'm curious myself. Good idea. So that has a very nice t level of tanginess to it. Yeah, not bad at all, actually. Um, I like it. I, I think, what, what would you say that the closest like commercial equivalent would be? I don't know. It's almost like a... It's good. Yeah, it is. It's like good. It. Um, it's almost like a. I don't know. We're gonna, di we're gonna dip it in to find out. Mind you, it's there. We go. Ooh. Oh, I can just buy a lot more now. Um, almost like a sweet baby rays. Almost. Only a bit more tangy than that. Oh, more tangy. Damn. I like this better. This one's way better. Um, but if you want something that's like similar to commercially, it's probably a little bit like a sweet baby ray, but more tangy, a little bit sweeter. But not sweet. Like it's, it's not overly sweet. It has like a good, it has a good thing to it, especially with the spicy one. It definitely adds good flavor to it. So let's try this cheese. <clears throat> cheese sauce. Here's the cheese sauce. <clears throat> Ah. Can't tell. Going from the um, 
barbecue sauce with the cheese sauce is a little hard to yeah. change the flavor <laughs> prop palette. Yeah, let's try let's try a little dip in here. Ooh. I like it. It does have a familiar taste to it though. I just gonna pin it. It's very delicious though. Like uh, I like the barbecue sauce more though. If I had to choose the barbecue sauce right now, has taken what I what I prefer. Cheese sauce is very mild. Um, it definitely has a cheesiness to it. Yeah. But it's um kind of like those canned nachos. Only the non-spicy canned nacho cheese is probably the closest equivalent to it. Yeah. Very mild. Um, flavor. Better it flavor. It stays in um, this form a lot better though, instead of like hardening up, congealing. Mm. That's the word I'm looking for. Almost tastes like a, like a French dressing almost. It's really good. It, ha it has a great flavor profile for it. You want to see what happens? And then, so we're going to go ahead now, guys, while he gets the napkins real quick. Can I trouble you with some napkins, please? I'm going to go ahead and please. break up this yeah, next one. Yes, please. So this next one is an all beef, um, as you see here. It's huge. It has the all beef right here on the little Thank logo you. here. So Fantastic. we're going to go ahead and cut yeah, this in half. Yeah, it's uh, quite good, especially that cheese sauce. Cut this in half. A lot of people, it's different, but once they get used to it, they start to taste it, they get yeah. addicted. Yeah, yeah, so. it's a very different way. Um, play, ah. Flavor is the word I'm looking for because it's not, it's not the traditional like American ch yeah. cheese. Yeah. yeah. Tastes different. Yeah. But, but it's, it goes okay. really well with the potato. Well. It does. <laughs> good, good. Thank you. Oh sweet napkins here. So as you guys heard, it goes very well with the potato one. So we went ahead and cut this. This is the all beef potato. Yeah. There we go. Here's the all beef uh, with potato, as you guys can see. It looks Potatoes. very nice and simple. We're gonna try it out. The, the layer of the potatoes kind of make, gives a little fun mini game of, of like trying to bite down around them without knocking them off. Here's a tray if you need it. It's kind of like sugared french fries on a good batter and sausage, kind of. I think the potatoes add a l another layer of moisture to. Um, oh yeah. To the. To well, the it, batter. Has, it has a nice like potato. It's crispy. It's like mushy in the inside the way it's supposed to be. You know, when you have fries, you want it to be crunchy on the outside, nice and soft on the inside. Hello. And then of course it has. Um, you know, you have your delicious, you know, your sausage, your beef sausage, beef hot dog on the inside with the batter. So you have the sugar on top. So it's sweet, crunchy. It's basically, it's, kind of, it's a little savory, I would say. And again, I, I really just like the mouthfeel of the potatoes, the dough, and then the juiciness from the, the dog. So now I'm gonna All take- All just kind of mixes together. Sweet chili. I have a fork here. I'm just gonna put it like that. I don't have to dip it in, because it's crazy. We're gonna try that. Mm. And of course, sweet chili is just a regular sweet chili sauce. Mm. Mm. I agree with the, with the what what she was saying about the cheese sauce with the potato. It works nice with it. Yeah. So we're gonna try that. I'm gonna pour it like this because it's at this point it might just be easier. Ah. Oh yeah. Mm hmm Yeah, it works better with it. So, all beef, potato, with the cheese. Try that with the cheese. That one actually, yeah, huge difference that it makes when you're eating it. And it's probably just because, you know, potatoes and sausage and 
cheese just works very well. I mean, well. it's just everything that's goodness in life. Yeah, it's, you can't go wrong with it, honestly. I'm going to try with the barbecue sauce. I, I'm a huge fan of the barbecue sauce. So. Overall, mm -hmm. like, this, this is pretty... Um, oh, yeah. It's pretty much exactly what I remember from Korea, as far as the... the, the both the form because of the two styles <laughs> of the it. mozzarella and the, the hot dogs, the flavor profile, the sugar, all that reminds me of the stuff that I was getting at the rest stops there. Mm -hmm. um, so definitely very delicious. The cheese works perfect, on honestly. Ah. As I eat half my beard, I need another trim. Mm -hmm. Dip, dip, dip. So, definitely very delicious. Um, ah. So, just of the raw d difference between the spicy dog and the, the, the beef, how do you think that, how, how does that uh, preference between the two of them and the differences? Because, like, there was a significant size difference mm -hmm. between them, but the flavor profile, I think, with the the juiciness of the, the beef versus the spicy? I like both, but I like the little bit of kick that the spicy had to it. It actually, because it wasn't, like you said, it actually wasn't very overly spicy, but it had a nice, it had a nice, you know, kick to it. But I think it added more flavor to it, honestly. That with the sugar combined on top of it kind of brings it to like a whole another level, which is just really delicious. Okay. I was definitely a big fan of it. Now, I like the other one, the beef with the potato with the cheese on it. Super good. You got the cheesiness of the, you know, the cheesy tanginess of the sauce on top of the potato, which works out perfectly. Then you have the sweetness of the sugar with the regular all beef. Super good, but it's just something about that spicy that just kind of adds it. Thank you. It just kind of adds it to the, you know, just yeah. adds that, 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 that kick to it. Now, usually you like spicy things preferably over it, but that one actually, I think, just had a really good, especially with the barbecue sauce, I think it just added that like flavor to so it. The spiciness with the barbecue sauce and the all beef yeah. with the potatoes with the cheese. With, with, no, the one without the potatoes. Well, that, well that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. You would pick the spicy one without oh, yeah. the potatoes for the barbecue. Yeah. Now, a potato, now, if you, you can do the spicy potato one, so I think that one would probably beat the one without the potato, just because the cheese on, cheese, potato, spicy, and all that, just, I think it works out well. So this is uh, tukboki, I believe it's called? Yeah, I have a hard time saying it. And so we're going to try it out. <laughs> the rice cake's covered with a good amount of sauce here on a stick, which just makes it that much better. So, this sauce is just kind of sweet with a little bit of tanginess and some tiny bit of heat. The, just the tiniest of it. Rice cakes have been um, fried so that they're really chewy. It has a nice, yeah, it has a, it has a good chew to it. I've never had a rice cake like this, I think. Yeah, usually you we'll get them like cooked into the sauce so they're soft and chewy, and this one has a, like a little bit of um, resistance on the outer edge because the way they're cooked. It's weird. It's, it's hard to describe because it's like, it's good, but it's unique. And you'll see these on the streets of Korea. These and sausages for like two, three bucks. It's great drink after drinking food. <laughs> By the way, if you guys didn't know, Korea has number one uh, for drinking culture in Asia of all which is pretty impressive when you consider how many drinking cultures Asia has. Mm -hmm. um, soju being the primary uh, drink of choice, or soju mixed with mockery or beer, uh, depending on which flavor profile you guys like. Um, I'm a big fan of the soju. Yeah, soju, soju will kick your butt. <laughs> soju will kick your butt. That sneaks up on you. Yeah, it, it, for sure. Delicious, but it will definitely sneak up on you. Ah. Now he's cutting into the mozzarella stick. Which this one is going to be a lot harder because, once again... Okay, so we're going to show you guys this. The level of stretch. Thank you. Look at this. Whee! That's yep. the cheese on it. I like cheese, but I'm not an overly cheesy person. Oh, um, I thought you were the king of cheese. I mean... 
in terms but, of uh, um, in terms of that, yes. <laughs> but um, yeah, so we're gonna try that out. How do you like that? It was very nice. Um, so when they were starting, they started with just about a inch square um, chunk of mozzarella on there, and see if that picks up. The camera picks that up. Back just how much che cheesiness is actually all in there? It's a lot. It's a lot. It's pretty filled. Um, again, we have the sugar and the potatoes on here, That's, so it all just and, and I mixed still got together. Crap load of cheese in here. So as you can see, as you guys can tell, it's very cheesy. And it's, I, it tastes like it's mozzarella, so it's just a nice, mild flavor. Cheese. So you're really getting the taste of the potatoes, a little bit of the cheese, and the sugar all mixed in there. So let's see how it handles um, the dipping sauces. So this is definitely something where if you come here, mm. it's it's a filling meal. Yeah. See, that, that's just not even half the cheese. It's definitely gonna be something where you can order one. Honestly, I'm a big dude. One I feel is like good. Yeah, one they're just, like they're they're big. They're five big. six bucks on average between for, yeah. for them. I would definitely get one. Um, if you're like if you haven't eaten all day and you're really really hungry, don't go past two. <laughs> I mean, order two, as much as you can. Help a small business, but is, yeah, by yourself it's just, it's a lot. So it's cheesy, potatoey, which most Americans like anyways, most yeah. people. Yeah, I mean, it, it's about everything Americans like. It's cheesy, it's potatoey, some sweetness from the sugar. Yeah. You get some lovely stretch there. Um, and then, of course, depending on which of these sauces you added in, just adds that much more level. And of course, you know, you have the sugar. You have the sugar on it, which, you know, makes sweet. You can do it with or without sugar. It's up to you guys. And we decided why not try a little bit sweet, you know, just how to see. Um, but, I mean, that's probably about just about all we can say about it. So we're going to continue on eating. They do have a half and half. You can get half a half of any of these mixtures. So it's like you can do like a half sausage, half cheese. cheese. Yeah. Um, and, and you know, so you can get all the different mixtures. So if you want to try one of each, where you're like, oh, you know, I don't want to, you know, have to get two of them. You do a half and half. You can do with without sugar. You can get the different. The, these are just three of the sauces out of like I think eight. Yeah. Give or take. They had a bunch of sauces. Different sauces. They have you a get lot of pack of sauce per unit of hot dog you get, and then after that's fifty cents yeah. more. Yeah. It, 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 it's a it's a really friendly place. Really clean. Uh, just really nice. Um, it's just something. It's, it's definitely worth coming to if you want a hot dog especially on like on a, on a nice summer day in general hot dogs are good because hot dogs are kind of like it's good in the fall it's good in the summer you know it's it's small it's easy it's light you know if it's cold you want a hot dog so it's definitely worth it this is a sole hot dog here in federal way definitely worth coming out here to try try one of each you know help us small business out let them know hey you know we you know we found you guys from the wandering food dudes you want to try all your hot dogs <laughs> all of them even though it's going to kill our stomach we want all the hot dogs um, they're very light. I have a bad stomach. I have gallbladder issue. No gallbladder is basically my issue. But um, this doesn't affect my stomach, which is nice. So if you're someone who you're like, oh, you know, I have stomach problems, this is pretty good. I'm very, very um, critical to oil, anything fried. I'm they, very they, like. They drip dry them really yeah. well so that so, it's not super greasy. Exactly, which makes it perfect. Um, the only difference, the only thing I would say is if you're planning on doing something later, if you're like going out to errands, have one. Yeah. They're heavy. It'll put they're, you in a nice they're, little they're food coma, kind of. They're big. They're very um, big. It's worth the price. Honestly, the price yeah, is really the, worth the it. Yeah, the price is pretty yeah, good. Definitely worth it. Um, is this, have you ever had any other flavors besides this? I've had a few other flavors. Um, of course, now I don't know that I'm trying to think of it. <laughs> there's there's a lot more than what they have here. Uh, these are the basic ones that they offer right now. They may or may not in the future change and add start more stuff. But I know I've definitely seen a lot more than this. Um, but this place is definitely coming. Yeah, th th this one they said that they like to s focus down on the basics, so that all the ingredients are staying fresh, so that then they don't waste anything. Exactly. So they, which they, is beautiful. They, they go know, back to the basics. Yeah. So this is nice that you guys actually, you know, make sure everything's good. So come here, Soul Hot Dog, Federal Way. We'll make sure to put the socials in the link below, and as always, hit the you, subscribe button and yep. the notification bell. And if you don't like this video, hit that twice. You know, the dislike. Yeah, definitely. Come here. Let them know Wandering Food Dude sent you. Fish and Poetic. Make sure you come here. 
And as always, keep on wandering.